you might not be actively involved with the parents when the child is in your class they are definitely at least later in future or somebody who is expecting so they'll pass on this message to them because it so happens lot of kids learning capacities lot of kids have learning problems okay because if they're not breastfed and other health issues so in this chapter we'll understand what are all those and uh, this was the symbol for international uh, international breastfeeding so wherever you find this one they are speaking something about breastfeeding okay now significance that means the importance of breastfeeding as it's been mentioned over there it is one of the easiest and healthiest way to feed a newborn right no expenses it comes free of cost yeah definitely yes okay and as i told you it's the healthiest way of feeding the baby without any much of compromise with the with the hygienic factors okay then it reduces the chances of infection and increases the immunity the breast milk has the capacity to boost the immunity power in the child and it reduces the chances of overall infection in the child okay then it also contains lot of vitamins and enzymes which aid in the baby's digestion so we have we have learned about these vitamins minerals and all in detail now okay and breast milk has all these vitamins and minerals enzymes in the properly placed quantities which is required for an infant that is a god's gift for it has been given to the mother so wherein the breast milk contains all these necessary vital um food content or vital nutrient which has been given by the god and that has to be transmitted only by you to the baby okay and the breast milk also contains the amino acids so as you all know amino acids are considered to be the building blocks okay amino acids are the basic substances for the protein build up and amino acids are in sufficient quantity in the breast milk that's the reason the mother has to feed the child and why amino acids is because if you have uh, if you recall i told you about two as, uh, amino acids two types of amino acids one is essential and the other is non essential so and uh, all these essential and non essential amino acids are required for the protein production and this protein especially almost 80% of our bodily structures some way or the other is made up of proteins okay so and uh, breast milk is also rich in lymphocytes and macrophages so what is this lymphocytes and macrophages this is found in the blood okay lymphocytes and macrophages are all found in the blood so lymphocytes is one of the uh, type or variety of a, uh, a wbc cell uh, you you have heard about uh, blood cells right so how many blood cells are there how many types you know in general rbc wbc and we do have platelets though it is not a true cell we also include that into the cells itself okay we have rbcs wbcs and platelets okay and lymphocyte is one variety of wbc this white blood cells actually help in what we have different types of white blood cells in our body as well it helps to in improve the immune system yes absolutely so lymphocytes in this lymphocytes also we have two varieties lymphocytes as she said like wbc as a whole wbc as a whole it's basically for the boosting of defense system in our body okay for example you had pani puri yesterday in the evening okay on the road side so there could be lot of bacteria lot of germs and all those things 
so the way he does it and but that will be very tasty <laughs> right so there can be a lot of microorganisms also in that but that enters into your body but that microorganisms might might cause some harm to you or it might not cause any harm to you though it is dangerous to your body if your immune system is good that means if your wbcs are active it will not allow those microorganisms to grow and multiply in your body okay so what does wbc will do in a nutshell i'll just tell you it will go and identify and kill those microorganisms or bacteria or germs which can which might be eligible to cause diarrhea or dysentery or whatever it is okay that means vomiting and uh, loose motions and all so wbc has that capacity to identify the cells which it can cause harm to your body and destroy that in that lymphocytes are also one of the type and here in lymphocyte as i told you we have two uh, instead of this this is a medical term i'll not write this one we'll say two varieties one is small lymphocyte and other is large lymphocyte okay the small lymphocyte they what this does is it produces the antibodies against the foreign agent you are all heard of antibodies right antibodies antibiotics how many of you have taken many of you would have taken antibiotics right okay what is this the antibiotics does is the same way the funda is there inside the body it is done by the antibodies okay anything which enters into our body which is not there in our body for example as i told you the bacteria or the virus or the microorganisms or germs whatever it is these are all called as antigens 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 a n t i g e n s these are all called as antigens antigens matlab it is something foreign to our body it can be in any form got it it can be in any form if it is not if it does not belong to me that means my blood cells recognizes that it is something which is not there in my body it is a foreign substance okay whenever something is not there in my body and if it is a foreign substance if my blood cells are recognizing that it's a foreign substance especially it will be recognized by the lymphocytes that to the small lymphocytes okay then what will happen is there will be an antigen antibody reaction anti body and this antibodies are formed by the small lymphocytes what is this antigen antibody if there is an enemy what what we do usually if there is a thief and the whole, what we do we immediately call police right so here the policeman is this antibody so the blood cells that means these small lymphocytes will stimulate the production of antibodies that's how there what they have written is it's rich in lymphocytes and macrophages which protects the newborn against intestinal inflammation like though there are some normal microbes also and some unwanted microbes also if it is entered because kids always you know they have that mouthing and teething and all those habits because lot of things germs and all so this lymphocytes it will not allow those germs to multiply in number that again depends on the severity if it is too severe then it can cause fever and all those uh, stuff so whenever there is an antigen antibody reaction there will be fever it is applicable for kids even for adults as well okay even for us also it is the same funda whenever you have this antigen antibody reaction the symptom is fever normally if anybody is suffering from fever that means there is something in your body which was not there in your body it has come from somewhere else okay and that is causing your problem the white blood cells has recognized it is a foreign body it has started reacting that is antigen antibody reaction during that process of reaction because it is
so what it says is breastfeeding is associated with better intellectual and emotional development than bottle feeding so according to the american public health association 136th annual meeting so this was the instance brought about and what they said was it's associated with better intellectual and emotional development so one the baby is more bonded towards her mother okay they are more emotionally strong and they are intellectually also they will be much better when compared to the bottle fed babies and parents or guardians of breast fed uh, children were less likely to express concern about the learning capacities this is what i told so usually bottle fed babies have some type of the other of learning it's not like everyone is going to have it okay so in this also but whatever they have seen like if you have any learning disabled child or any slow learner child or a hyperactive child okay or a child with a lot of other uh, learning difficulties maybe autism or something else okay what they have seen is they have seen that they were not breastfed but they were bottle fed babies so when they are usually doing a research and collecting data especially with the kids each and every place you will notice that they would have written whether the baby was breastfed or not yes or no for how many days that parameter will always be there and even in many of these schools also even in the health card or the health report they will uh, usually they mention they ask. they ask whether the baby was breastfed okay <clears throat> and they uh, did have concerns about their behavior conduct or the mental health problems as reported in an oral presentation so it's not like as i told you everybody would have this there are chances if some but some people end up with this some people some kids become very cranky if they are bottle fed okay so usually what they have seen is breast fed kids are much 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 healthier than the bottle fed kids so this is about the breast feeding and all and as i told you completely for 6 months intermittently you can continue till 2 years 2 to 2 and 1/2 years clear there is nothing wrong in that if you are uh, back at home you can do it even though if you are going to the office once you come back from office you can always feed your baby so just for one meal you can just take out the milk and keep it separately so in a normal uh, uh, room temperature don't put it in the fridge or don't heat it and then give it to the child just the normal temperature huh how many hours it can be stored for 24 hours you can keep no problem you can keep it but usually you don't uh, store it for 24 hours at least 8 to 10 hours though nothing will happen huh it should not be kept in the fridge it should not be refrigerated it should not be heated also okay little bit change will be there it won't be like as you have taken it out but little bit change will be there but it should never heat that once you heat that entire nutrient is going to die okay now coming to this weaning process so what is this weaning weaning as you all know here we are gradually taking out the child from an exclusive ring and we are introducing lot of other foods because since is the growing child after 6 months his requirement also will be doubling and it will be triplet also tripling also right so only the breast milk cannot give him all the nutrients what is required for his normal growth and development then we have to start the weaning process as well and we have to slowly introduce the other food because it's growing and only breast milk cannot satisfy his growth needs needs of his growth yes okay then how do you do the weaning weaning to be done uh, properly if you don't do a proper weaning he'll again have problems to adjust with the food and he can end up with lot of health issues okay so usually we start with the semi solid foods it is not necessary that you should always take that canned foods for uh, weaning pur purpose so whatever you get in the uh, canned food saralac or nestum or whatever it is you can always prepare it at home homemade foods are the best 
and it depends on different uh, culture, different community, they do it in a different way. So the best person for this will be the grandmothers. Okay, they will have en the entire knowledge how to do it. Okay, so you should always start with semi-solid food and never start with the solid food. Semi-solid, fully crushed and how we are, and how we are going to do is, that we will be seeing later now. And weaning is one of the many milestones in the baby's process of development and it is very important for the health and development of the baby. And uh, as I told you, it is very important because you are bringing the child to the normal food habits. Because later in life he will be eating those foods. So it, the weaning has to be done in a proper way. 